This is rumba. Rumba. And guapo and ocho and ceniza. And in the corner hiding, we have Carlitos, Galeno, and Kalua. Are you getting pets adopted within a week, a month? It varies. Um, we have one puppy in here right now for quarantine. The night that I found him, somebody offered to adopt him, so he's just here for two weeks for quarantine, and then he goes. Um, other dogs have been through shelter system here in Mexico, here in Playa, the two previous shelters that were here, so we've got dogs that have been in shelter for six years. The puppies are the first to go, obviously, so we really like to focus on our adult dogs. And we have some awesome dogs. This is Sparks, and he's going as well, and he's a lovely dog. He's two years old, so he's been in shelter a long time. So we have Palomita, Carmel, Mitch, Congo, and Daisy. All available for adoption, all spayed and neutered, all current on their shots, all current on their preventative medicine, just looking for the right people. We have wonderful supporters. We could not do it without them. It would be impossible. Do you love Robin? <laughs> You're adopted too, aren't you, Carmel? Where are you going? I think she's going to Vancouver. Yeah, I think so. We have several dogs going to that area. A local golf course called us and said, we have puppies on the golf course, can you come and get them? We said, yeah, we, we would go. We were expecting five or six, which is typically what you see, and there were 18. So this is, these guys are two years old. They haven't been adopted yet, so they've been in shelter for coming up on two years. Shelters are hard to run down here. You know what, they close. And when one shelter closes, the other shelter have to assimilate them into their population, which is how we started. When we first formed our corporation, we didn't have the luxury of just building a shelter and then going out to find dogs. We started with 70 dogs. Wow. Uh, Look at all those tails wagging. That's because we happy dogs. People play with us. Our, our theory is dog, dogs need consistency, discipline, and love because they have to be adopted. And they need manners for that. And the, the natural reaction, anyone who comes into the shelter is, oh, poor dogs. Love, 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 spoil, spoil, spoil. And they like that, don't get me wrong, but it's not what they need. They need to learn how to behave, how to be good dogs. And they are, every one of them, good dogs. Yeah, she's barking because she's a little protective. Yeah. Oh my God, oh, this is all the babies. How many can I fit in my arms? How many can I get? How many? Can I get all five? Can I get all five? Maybe just three. Oh, but I gotta take Lalo. They're very young. They're like just over two weeks. Their eyes just opened and they're adventurous and confident and healthy yes. and so cute. They are. So these guys, like I said, they're just over two weeks old, so they'll be ready to go, oh, probably for a month and a half. And they will be absolutely 100% healthy. Distemper is rampant in this part of Mexico, and when the dogs get sick, 90% of them die. And it's an awful death. And of the 10% of the that survive, there's severe neurological damage, so they have a tremor. And we're just trying some new medication on Canela to get rid of her tremor, and it is working. She can actually come out. She looks bad now because the tremor doesn't allow her to put on weight. And she also has some, some problems with her legs. But when we first got her, she literally could not stop moving. It was constant. But you can see now when I'm holding her that the tremor that she's got, that twitch, that was 10 times worse before she started taking medicine. Well, Jan, I really appreciate you taking time with us, explaining things to our viewers. And what can we do to, to help support you? Well, I think the most important thing is just for people to understand that we're here. So if you can go to our website, which is playaanimalrescue.org, go to our Facebook page, Playa Animal Rescue, and just take a look at what we're doing and see how you can help us. Even if you're 3,000 miles away, you can do a PayPal donation. If you're coming down on vacation, maybe you could bring us some sutures or make a donation, adopt a dog. There's a lot you can do. So when you're traveling with your pet down to Cancun, you can also drop by and take a look at, um, we'll call them temporary residents. Temporary residents. I want residence. them to be temporary. Yeah. I don't want to see anybody stay for a long time. Oh, we encourage that. Come and visit. Actually, we open to the, the public all the time, but especially on Saturdays, we ask people to come and just play with the dogs. The dogs love it, and they need it. And I have the pleasure of sitting beside Emma Hello. and Sophie. 
and they're both from the Cancun Animal Rescue. And we're going to learn a little bit today about your cause and, and what exactly you've been doing for the Cancun area. Well, we have a rescue team and we do have locals that help and support us. Many vet vets help us too. And our main goal is to neuter and spay as many dogs and cats as we can so we can have a generation with no street animals. Yes, and it's a sad thing because there's, I have um, street animals at home and they're amazing. They just, they fill your life in such an amazing way that for me, people say, oh, you have that many dogs? And I say, you don't have a dog in your life? It seems like if I never had an animal in my life, it wouldn't be the same. Like it's so fulfilling to have an animal and have like this noble love always given to you. When you go home, always have the tail wagging. So it's, it's just an amazing feeling. And I think there's no love that can compare to the love of an animal because it's really true, you know? One of the biggest highlights of this vacation was actually this pooch potty that was held at the Mi Resort. And everybody, if they wanted to go out and party, they just brought their dogs with them. It was a big red carpet event. Pet owners loved it, and it was, yeah. a, it was a great night out for everybody. It was a lot of fun. This is Johnny, everybody, and you're one of the organizers for this huge party. Actually, I'm, I'm the one who created with the concept for the Me brand in general, and uh, the, the party is for the dogs, and it's a day for the dogs to be pampered and to enjoy themselves and to have fun, and uh, who knows, maybe they find uh, some husband or a wife. What brings you to the Me Hotel? Uh, my friend tell me that there are events for dogs and I come in for my dogs. <laughs> Why did you come to the pooch party? Um, well, a friend of mine told me about it and really there aren't that many events like this in Cancun and I said it's really cool because you know those of us that have dogs we almost are isolated and this was kind of a way to celebrate and so I said I can't I have to see what it's all about. <laughs> Uh, well, I think it's a great idea. It's the first time that uh, they do something like this in here, and uh, well, I'm a dog lover, so anything for her. And your name is? Wendy. Wendy? Antonella. And who's this? Chloe. Chloe. So what do you think about the pooch party? I like it. I love it, and, and it's very nice to do this kind of, of parties or this kind of uh, events for the people. It's amazing because they're doing a good deed and we have a serious problem of abandoning dogs. So I hope everyone's paid and neutered the dogs. Did you bring your dog today? Not today because I'm working now. We're uh, raising money for this Tierra de Animales. Uh, this is an organization that takes care of the street dogs in Mexico. We have a really big problem and a lot of cruelty here, so we take care of them. There's 200 dogs in the shelter right now. We neuter them. We go to schools and talk about dogs and respect to animals, you know? I love the idea. I love I'm, I'm very pet friendly and that's why we, uh, I thought about something that we can do it at least once a year and we show the people that uh, you can bring your dog and after there is a party and everybody have fun and the dogs have fun. That's good. Does she go everywhere with you? Yes, of yes. course. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Mexico is a number one destination to go to. We had an amazing time. The Mexican people are so hospitable. They have amazing generosity and they're very warm and beautiful people. So Viva La Mexico. We love the trip. We're going back and we give Mexico four paws up. Talk and there's time to walk. We're going all.